Hi, so now in this chapter we will see some Python maths inbuilt function. Okay, Python maths inbuilt functions. Look, Python has a set of built in math function including an extensive math module also and that actually allows you to perform mathematical task on the numbers okay so um, the common one what we are using right now is the minimum and the maximum function and they can be used to find the lowest or the highest value in an interval just suppose here i am taking x minimum i am using the minimum function right now by using min and then i am taking 5 10 and let's say 25 okay and i am taking another variable like y and i am using max and here same 5 10 and 25 so here if i'll print x and i'll print y it will tell me the many minimum and the maximum value 5 and 25 5 is a minimum value in the x and y is maximum value in the 25 list okay we have all also the absolute function which will actually tell us the positive value of any specified number just suppose um, we have x okay x is equal to abs okay and we have a minus negative value let's say 5.25 okay so i am using abs module right now so it will give me the output in a positive value if i'll print the x so 5.25 is there negativity is no more okay it is just a abs function that will return the absolute so called the positive value of a specified number even we have the power options also like power of x power of y or something for this we will use pow function right uh, let me give an example let's say x is equal to uh, i want to use the power of 4 and let's say 2 or something so i will use the pow for power 4 and 3 okay then I'll print this let's say I'm printing X so 4 4 the 4 4 the what 4 4 the 16 4 to the power okay and 3 3 is the 9 understood so 4 and 3 the power of 4 is 2 and the power of 3 and when we will print this it will come to 64 okay when we will see the maths module let's say a maths module is there here let me do it big using the maths module we have a built-in module so called math which actually extend the list of mathematical function and for using it we must import the math module first import math we have seen how to import in the last chapter last second last chapter right so we have imported maths here and now when we import maths module we can start using the method and the constant of the module let's say i want to print some square root type of thing square root of a number then first i have imported maths then x is equal to let's say maths dot sqrt understood i want to square root of let's say 64 and if i'll print x then it will tell me the square root of 64 is 
okay even we have a method uh, by which we can round a number we can downward a number to a nearest integer also so for this we will use uh, mm, wait round a number for this we will use the math seal okay so and for and for a round a number to nearest integer okay it is the round a number to to upward nearest integer and it is from the number to downwards nearest integer okay let me import the module of math first then we will use the x and then math then we will use for the upward we will use ceil scale like just suppose we have 1.4 so that it will give me the output of 1 and y we will use maths dot floor for this it will give me same thing it will give me the downwards so if I'll use print x okay and print y so here what is happening sale method actually give me the upward nearest integer so here upward will be 2 okay so output will be 2 here and here I told you the round number to a downward nearest integer so the downward will be 1 so output will be 1 here okay if I'll print this you can see 2 and 1 because 1.4 upward nearest integer is 2 and 1.4 downward nearest integer is 1 okay so sale function and floor function in the maths module even we have a pi function also so that we could return the value of pi so called 22 by 7 and 3.14 so by printing the pi value or using it we need to import maths you can import maths once in a uh, page okay no need to import it again and again I am uh, importing again and again so that you could remember the things okay I am doing it again and again only for remembering so that you could memorize it that we have to use you have to use import we have to do the same thing again and again it will be helpful for you okay so import maths x is equal to let's say maths dot pi if I'll print this x it will tell me 3.1415 the pi value okay this is the constant pi value even we have a lot of things a lot of method in the math section it is much we have sine cos cos we have dist function we have exponential function we have return function factorial function a lot of methods are there you can use it one by one i'll share you the link of the uh, documentation also okay but these function are very common we generally use this function in a real life scenario so that's the reason I told you okay so that's all I think you understood the basic concept how to use the math function and uh, in the next uh, lecture we will discuss about the Python JSON function okay it is a JavaScript object notation so how to use this in a Python library I'll tell you Okay, so till then, bye-bye.